This year, the village school participated in the MIT challenge. Each grade level across the school participated in projects investigating tropical cyclones. Through the collaboration with North Anglia and MIT, it's something that, um, you know, as a school, it's offered to us and it's something that we should take advantage of. When we have this special opportunity that is given to us, it's going to be something that's beneficial to our students. So when we um, are, are doing it, um, it's, 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 it just makes us something that is um, giving us the identity of being a part of North Anglia, um, giving our students access to a school that they um, hold in high esteem. And um, every year we are, it was a new, it was a new collaboration um, when it started in 2016. So every year we are um, growing and learning through the uh, partnership, um, both of us, MIT and North Anglia and how to better design the, the, the lessons and the program for our students. So every year that we participate, it's, it's, it's refining the program to become even better. The MIT Challenge always is something that allows our students to think about something new and in that in a different way um, and so even this year when we were looking at the MIT challenge in tropical cyclones it's something that most of our students have a lot of first-hand experience with we approached it in, in a way that we wanted to innovate how we think about hurricanes and tropical cyclones as far as um, the fact that um, you know we always think about them as this thing that has devastated many of our families and has had a ne negative effect on um, our community um, and so when we approached it in a, from the STEAM project and all of our students looked at it from every different content area that they um, that they were in um, it allowed them to think about the emotional effects the um, the economic effects, the, um, the the way that writers use it in their writing, um, the way that it that they can use it to influence their artistic um, expression. I think that it allowed um, a way to think about hurricanes and tropical cyclones as a way to um, express themselves and um, give a new aspect to something that is maybe has always had a, a negative effect on us and so I think it kind of expanded our thinking about it and gave it gave us an opportunity to um, really um, approach it from a different perspective going forward and we will all learn something new about it so that we can apply it in the next time we have to have a storm of that nature so this year's MIT challenge was very exciting for us at FINA in the early childhood division. We decided to collaborate with our uh, performing arts teacher and our visual arts instructor as well uh, to collaborate on a collage about the weather. Our FINA kids experienced a thunderstorm. Here in Houston we had a storm come through so we heard the wind, we felt the raindrops, the children observed what was happening outside and how it changed from a sunny day to a windy and cloudy day and the rain coming in. And that meant that we could see the wind and we heard and felt the rain and we decided that it would be a really good idea to see how the storm starts. So that was our science element. We saw how storms begin and then we used that information to think about the sounds of the storm and how it looked. Then we decided to think about the sounds of the storm. And they, they then listened to the sounds and heard the rain, the thunder, and the children made instruments so that they could mimic the sounds of the storm. After uh, observing the, the storm clouds and watching the storm come through, 
the pre-K-4 students came inside and they used the clever touch boards in their classrooms to research uh, how storm clouds develop and how storms culminate. Uh, they found that very exciting. They created a collage with our visual arts teacher. They made raindrops, they made clouds. A mural all together with all the Filipina kids creating an actual art form for the storm. Uh, they measured uh, the, the raindrops, the length of the string for the raindrops. They wrote their names on with their letters on the raindrops for literacy. And it all came together in a fabulous uh, collage of art and music. For our MIT Challenge in History class, we were separated into different groups and we made a rap song about hurricanes. And we chose our favorite rap song and then we created little skits for each scene. So we took the Hamilton Hurricane song and we matched our rap lyrics up to their lyrics. The hurricane that our class did um, was the hurricane of St. Croix in 1772. Um, it affected the trade routes because at the time all the trade routes were by sea and it, it caused a lot of damage and killed a lot of people. because we got to work in groups and make fun lyrics and we also got to perform it for the class which was funny to see everyone else's skits. It was different because usually the MIT challenges we only do it in science class but it was interesting to see how we got to do it in history. math class for the MIT challenge, uh, we were essentially asked to gather data and uh, basically find a correlation between two different parts um, of tropical cyclones or hurricanes. And so essentially Caroline and I decided to study um, the correlation between the maximum wind and minimum pressure of um, hurricanes in the Atlantic. And so essentially we used uh, data from these two different national libraries that collaborated and uh, we essentially collected the data and put it into a spreadsheet and used uh, stratified sampling um, to basically come down to our final data set. 
The data was collected from August 2017 to May 2021. We wanted to make sure it was more recent data just to look at recent trends in global warming. It also um, decides our data that we collected. We use different types of graphs such as bar graphs, line charts, and box and whisker plots just to analyze the data more easily and see that there was an indirect proportion between the two. Mm -hmm. So what we essentially found was that um, as the as the maximum wind uh, increased, the minimum pressure was decreasing. So they had an um, inverse relationship between the two, and we found that um, with an R squared value that we got in a trend in our scatter plot. challenge we were challenged to uh, make a wind tunnel that could reach tropical storm levels so when we first created this we had our own concept design that we created uh, in our engineer your world class and with this we decided that we wanted to make a wind tunnel out of a shipping container um, when making it we used fans to funnel down air uh, into a 15 square foot area for someone to stand in however when we built this we only managed to reach around 15 miles per hour which is not two tropical storm levels, which are like 30 miles per hour. Um, when we first made this though, we only got around nine miles an hour, but after some uh, reworks and filling up some holes that were uh, left undone, making it uh, much better. So right now we're looking at other design options that we can do, and we're trying to reach out to different students that have also built a wind tunnel in the past that can maybe give us some tips and help us leading into that 30 miles per hour and maybe even higher. <laughs> 